This is my 2010 Christian Appalachian Project for Awesome. Ha, <laughs> you see what I did there? Video. But it's also a response to a suggestion that R Drums 89 left into my moderator module. He wanted me to talk about my story of finding happiness, and this is just one part of it. <laughs> So if we flash back to about 2008, I was working in a restaurant and feeling kind of lost with my life. I was always stressed out about money and just worrying all the time. And then I went on a spring break trip to the Christian Appalachian Project's Work Fest, which is their alternative spring break. And I talk about that a lot more in a video that I linked right over there. When I got home from Work Fest, I really felt a call and a need to sort of do something different with my life. Instead of just working in a restaurant and kind of feeling dead end, I decided to fill out the application and go volunteer for a year of my life. Now for me, going and volunteering for a year was a pretty big decision and I deliberated on it for quite a while. In fact, I posted one of my first videos to YouTube while I was deliberating because I wanted some advice and I sent it out to a bunch of friends and they seemed to like it and encouraged me to go ahead and fill out the application and do it. So thank you to YouTube for the encouragement basically to go and do this thing. Now the reason the volunteering really plays a huge part in my happiness was I didn't have to worry anymore about money or where I was going to live or where the next rent check was going to come from or where the next meal was going to come from. They took care of all that and not having to worry about all that stuff enabled me to focus on the inside of me, not so much the outside of me. So it helped me focus on spirituality and putting my mind in the right place. It allowed me time to just be peaceful and meditate on everything. But it was also a lot of hard work. I mean, we did a lot of stuff and I got to be around a lot of awesome people who were really dedicated to doing some really amazing stuff. Not only just the amazing people that were working beside me, working on the houses, but the people we were working for were just such brilliant people in allowing me to kind of examine my own materialism and my own dissatisfaction with life and my own lack of joy because these people had nothing and yet they were still happy, they were still joyful, they still lived life to the fullest. And despite having, you know, roofs that were falling apart and floors that had holes in them and no heat and oh, just over and over and over again, I was just blown away by the fact that these people have nothing but they have everything. It led me to a decision in March of that year, despite it being ridiculously cold outside, to give up living on the inside. I'll explain that in a video that I'll link right here. Boop. That you can go check out. Some of my favorite times of volunteering were being actually on the job site or being in the disaster areas that we were working in. My past two years Project for Awesome videos have been about the Christian Appalachian Project and I've said a lot of stuff in those videos that are still basically true now. They are I think, last time I heard, about the 13th largest domestically operating nonprofit in America, and most of their operating budget comes from very small donations of $20 or less from individual donors, not corporations. So please, never feel like you're giving not enough. Any dollar counts. A dollar goes a long, long way for nonprofits that have been around for as long as CAP has been around. They know how to stretch that dollar to make amazing, amazing things happen. And not only do they know how to stretch a dollar, but they know how to stretch human achievement and, and potential into something that's just ridiculously amazing and inspiring. So if you've ever had an interest in volunteering somewhere, they take short-term volunteers, they take long-term volunteers, they take summer camp volunteers. You can work in almost any single field you've ever wanted to work in. It's just brilliant and amazing. And I encourage you fully to go out and, and try your hand at volunteering somewhere. It was indeed one of the big catalysts for me becoming such a internally happy person. If you want to know more about my CAP experience, there's some links in the doobly-doo, there's some annotations on the screen currently. They have a YouTube channel as well, you can go check that out. They have a website where you can learn all about all the programs that they possibly offer. Everything you can want to know is in the description because that's where all the links can go. Love you guys, and I will see you on Monday.